so I can relate to this one so I can easily explain it because when I don't understand something uh, yeah anyway so an impulsive decision because the masculine thought that he had his ducks in a row like he was going to leave his baby mama you know the relationship was coming to an end he was becoming uninterested or whatever and that he was going to have divine feminine wait for him or something like that I just had it I don't know how to say it But he didn't realize that Divine Feminine had already pulled back her energy when he was with his baby mama because she wanted to respect herself. Like, she didn't want that type of energy. It's like, you have your girl or whatever and you entertaining another woman. If you're not interested in her, then you should just end the relationship and then pursue Divine Feminine. But Divine Feminine saw it was like, okay, well, I'm here. I'm presenting myself to you and you still with this girl. And then he act like he didn't do nothing wrong. Like, Divine, <laughs> Divine Feminine told him she was pregnant and then he was saying like, oh, that ain't my baby. You could keep that to yourself or something like that, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't know. But if these comics were doing black magic on Divine Feminine since she showed up or whatever, they could have seen that she was like you know you get your intuition that somebody pregnant or pregnancy baby fever whatever so they could have probably said oh my god but so Div divine masculine can't say the divine feminine didn't try to pursue him it was just he was in his little glow thinking that he had things in control and that uh divine feminine was just gonna flock to him like all these other females did but he didn't realize that he met his match and it's like, dang, did I lose her trying to be a player? And so he probably, yeah. So you can't be out here being for the community and thinking that somebody going to come and see you and worship you and, and hold you to a higher value than what you really are. It's like, you ain't all that, first of all. Second of all, <clears throat> But you could be dealing with a Virgo. These karmics, they could, uh, I don't know. They was looking at the wrong perspective of Divine Feminine. Like, y'all spying on Divine Feminine trying to see what's to her, why everybody want her. And they probably sat down and compared themselves to Divine Feminine and was like, okay, well, you know. I don't know, but I know that leading by example, just telling them like, yeah, I want to get a job. I want to do this. I want to do that. It didn't click in their head because they were so busy on trying to focus on keeping divine feminine away from divine masculine that they didn't realize that divine or that's when they realized divine feminine didn't sell her body. So then that's when I was like, oh, we got to do a different approach because her description has to match our description because we're pretending to be in her energy so everything you know no looking back you moving forward they're lost trying to find their way through a situation um it could be dealing with a gemini <laughs> and so these are like moving forward to your new connection that he gonna have you dressed up um and if it's somebody that you know, y'all might be vibing on a newer connection or whatever, like a, a different approach. Because y'all could have been children back then, but now y'all had time to grow and learn and experience and stuff. And if you're a tomboy type stuff, like you never really dressed up, this new person is going to ch change the way that you, pre like the way that you present it. So karmics were greedy they didn't expect divine feminine to speak up for herself they didn't know that she was creative um so when you're gullible and easily influenced you believe whatever people tell you and it's like okay well you know you say you know her and it seemed like she go from nigga to nigga to, or from person to person and that she out here thawing around and it don't make sense like how she out here with all these 
you know, how she got clothes and shoes and her hair and nails done, you know. So the truth gonna be told about the whole situation, but it might be too late. <laughs> and if you do decide to go to this masculine out the order that happened because it's a misunderstanding or whatever that he must took these karmics for divine feminine. He going to be, he going to feel salty. So he going to try to come in or whatever y'all connection going to be, he going to feel the difference between when he was with the karmic, basically is what I'm trying to say. But it could all possibly be too late unless you give him a chance. But you can also miss your opportunity and success or whatever you're trying to work for because it's just a distraction. <clears throat> Or he could just literally be there to support you and help you, like, I don't know. But if that masculine name came towards you or contacted you or nothing like that, and you tried to reach out to this man, I would say go forth and do what it is that you need to do and not worry about a relationship right now. If it's a past situation, but... Moving forward, you could try to give this new connection a chance. I don't know, y'all. Because if you give this new connection a chance, why not give the masculine a chance? But you could be in a different location when you meet this new masculine and all type of sorts. Y'all. So, say, um, you got to do more than just say it, but first you got to do it. So, the karmic was just saying, like, oh, I could do this and the third. Like, just talking a good game, like how these guys be doing. Just pillow talking. And he's falling for it because it's like, I feel the energy. I feel this and the third. But, like, right before she got to do it, um, she tries to distract him, change the subject, or start an argument or something like that. So, he's realizing that this karmic... At first, she was being defensive to fight for him against the females. But now that there's nobody to fight against, what are you? Why are you still in this type of energy? The honeymoon. Uh, one reader said that it was always going to be like feeling like y'all was on a honeymoon. Like when y'all get into connection with each other, it's going. It's like. It's yeah. What I just said. <laughs> uh, sweet. The in-laws. Communicate, but don't repeat what you hear. The seasoning. So your partner probably not even the same race as you. Mm -hmm. He's saying that the karmic don't cook. You are safe. Protection. Guardian shield. She don't clean. She don't bake. Divine feminine is in her healing. <clears throat> Aquarius. A job, you could be a wedding planner or something like that. Not giving up, having plenty, a church, uh, wait for true love. So you could, your person could be a church going person. Um, I was going to say something else, but I don't know. And I think I'm going to unmix my cards because it, it is confusing to me as well. But. So these karmics mad that all the black magic that they did, it didn't even affect Divine Feminine. They're saying, like, at least if it affected her, I would be happy to fit, to know that she had some type of disruption in her life. But because Divine Feminine is stronger than what she presents herself and she's more spiritually protected and all of those things, that, um... Like, she's, she's doing everything she needs to do. She's in her healing and all that stuff. All of the stuff that they did to Divine Feminine is going to backfire on them. But, um, they feel like Divine Feminine has the power to not have karma affect them. Because of what, like, you can't, um, you can't expect the same treatment that somebody else gets because everything is different, like, the only reason why Divine Feminine allowed that to happen was because 
this was someone who raised divine feminine these karmics are just randoms and it's like if this person did this to me and you feel me i had all the like you know why should i have that same emotion towards you and i don't even know you i have nothing you know so a libra every detail quick movement And then it's even higher vibrational people that are attacking divine feminine that feel like like they're not sorry about what they did. They're sorry that they're just panicking because of what's to come. They don't know what's going to happen or how it's going to happen or how bad it's going to be. They're just they just know like what the description is and that's what they're scared of. So it's like you're going to fall off a bridge it could be like a little pond little bridge and they're gonna fall off that but what they're afraid of is that it's gonna be a a, a bridge 50 feet 50,000 feet up that they're gonna fall off of. they they feel like they're gonna fall to their death but yeah